What's the topic today? We have a topic? Yeah. I understand. We're gonna talk about something? No. I, I, what do you mean no. a topic? We're gonna we're gonna Well, we'll sit and see. We'll sit and see and then we'll just make something up? Like we always that do. That sounds about like normal, right? <laughs> yeah. Just like just just Hello? like normal. You like this shirt? I do indeed. It makes yes. it look like I'm going on vacation, right? Or or I work for the bus company. Yes. Uh I would say the the what is Oh uh, I see Arlington on here somewhere, but I don't think I don't think it's our Arlington. Community transit. I know you like oh. this. Senior citizens only. What? Ooh, I see this, this is almost a good shirt for me. Howdy, y'all. I'm Mr. Holga. And I'm Todd Puckett. And this is Don's used photo equipment. It is. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to go on vacation. I figured I would kind of a little bit of a Hawaiian flavor to a shirt here. Yeah, so. yeah, because it's got a lot of blue and it looks like waves, but it's really clouds. Yeah, well, it's, you know, it's really so, buses and coffees and all sorts of things yes, like that. Yes, and birds and everything. Wow. And Wolfman on a skateboard. <laughs> Oh, really? I didn't yeah, see that. right there. I like that. Wolfman on a skateboard. Oh, I had to put my glasses wow. on for that. That, yeah. that ain't going to happen. No, no, So no. let's get into this, guys. Uh, first of all, uh, we talked about several great things last time. But I, yes, I, yes. I don't remember if we mentioned the last video or the video before last. Mm -hmm. We mentioned Reddit. Now, uh, it's a... He still did, he still doesn't know what Reddit I is. I didn't read it. <laughs> he didn't read it. Exactly. So, that's what it's it. about. Reddit. Reddit. So uh, right now, if you guys, uh, if you are a Redditor and you enjoy Reddit and you also enjoy this shop, I went ahead and made us a Reddit community. Or, or, <laughs> so if you go to reddit.com slash r, because that's the little r, right. slash Don's Use Photo, but it's a capital D, a capital U, and a capital F, because they actually differentiate between capitals and not capitals. Wow. You will, you can become a Reddit member for the Don's Use Photo uh, community, and wow. we'd, we'd love can, for you can to. I, can I join that? You can join that. Okay. Wow. Uh, nice. If you want to post some stuff, or you want to ask some questions, or different things like that, I can't guarantee oh. you he's going to answer. But, but if you're uh, a Don's Used Photo customer mm -hmm. and also a redditor, we'd love to have you there. We'd love yes. to see your photos. Yeah. yeah. And that is a place Absolutely. where you can share your photos. Because I, I, you know, I, this is something that I have wanted in the past. I want people to put on somewhere, and we can use Reddit now. Sure. Photos they have of our store that they've taken over the years. That would be great. So if photos you want, if you want to, I I will start. I will put a shot of the store on there next. Uh, but I would love to see y'all's shots because that I know too. why you're in here. You take pictures. <laughs> uh, we've seen the people who who say, uh, "Can we take a picture of the wall of film?" Yes. yes and we always we say, "Sure," that. but it costs a dollar. Yes. And nobody's ever paid us. Nobody's ever paid, but they've taken the photo. Yeah, no, then they ran. Ah, I hate it when that happens. <laughs> also, while you're there, if you want to, and if you're a Holga Week, yes, remember Holga Week. Holga Week, it's coming up. Holga, Holga Week. It's only four months away, man. It's I know. Really, really. We have like a, a slightly already established larger community for Holga Week. Doc, uh, Holga Week. Yes. It's on Reddit as well. Go find Holga Week and join that as well because you know uh, more stuff is going to be on there. It's opened up. You can make posts, add wow. photos, all that kind of great stuff. Cool. So if you're a Reddit user, but don't please. submit your photos to there though. No, you know, no, no. It's just, That's just post your photos. Good there. Okay. You you don't get to submit. You can't submit official photos there, but you can put on some Holga photos. Maybe you took yeah, them. Absolutely. Maybe your your fourth picture that you couldn't submit anywhere else. <laughs> we would love to see your fourth favorite photo. Exactly. And also the since we just had the pinhole the. Pinhole photos you took with your Holga. Right. You, uh, last month was Worldwide Pinhole Day. But those photos. We'd love there. to see your photos. That'd be there. fun. Wow. So speaking of holidays, though, we are the world. Is, I mean, that's kind of no, what I mean. No. Is, oh, no. So speaking so, of holidays, um, yes. last weekend was Mother's Day. So we're recording this uh, the week later. But last weekend was Mother's Day. Okay. okay. What did you do for your mother? I did exactly what she wanted me to do. Which was? Well, that's okay. <laughs> 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 it's between mom and me. <laughs> oh, I, I, well, I no. mean, you didn't go have dinner with her no, or we something didn't go like out. that. But I did go pick up food and bring it over. Okay, so so he did something house. for his mom. Yes, yes. I took my mom to the zoo for a little photo <laughs> adventure. I don't know what you're coughing about. Oh, I don't know. I just choked, choked me up. Mom and said. she tried, and now she's probably going to watch this video. She tried so, Hi. so hard not to go because, oh, 
I can't find the charger for my camera. I can't charge up the batteries. I can't go shooting. I'm like, Mama Holga, I've got you covered. Wow. Yeah. I just essentially let her use my camera. There you go. And actually, my brother came along too. And I, it was a family event. It was a family event. I, I surprised her with my brother. Uh, and, and while he was there, he he's like trying to get super close to the animal. So I took off my 200 to 500 millimeter lens. I said, here, try this. And he goes, wow, you can get close with this. Yes. Yes, oh, you gosh, can. Yes. And then, of course, my free trip to the zoo, I benefited, guys. Mm -hmm. I benefited so much because I found that Mama Holga left oh. her lens baby so in my camera bag. You're her favorite son. Then. Uh, so for a free trip to the zoo, I now have a $300 lens baby. There you go. There you and go. it is an F-mount. Fits my camera. Yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> very nice. Thank you, Mama Holga. Wow. I am going to I'm going to take this on vacation and enjoy it. My mom didn't get me a gift. She she didn't day. let she didn't accidentally leave you a three hundred dollar lens in your camera bag. You sure it wasn't on purpose? Accidentally on purpose? I think I accidentally on purpose forgot to take it out of my camera bag when I dropped her <laughs> off at her house. <laughs> the truth is revealed. <laughs> the truth comes out. <laughs> So have you taken pictures with it yet? No. Well, I, I did. I Are you going to do it I, on your vacation? I, I'm going to do it on vacation. So I've Good. used it before, but I but now that I've got a whole week <laughs> worth of vacation with a lens baby, yes. oh, I'm going to have some fun. Oh, absolutely. Because uh, it will work with film and digital. Yes. And I'm going to be taking my F100 with me. That's going to be good. Yeah, yeah, yep, yep. Now, so are you going to go fishing on your trip? Oh, definitely so. I think the fish will actually be biting this time, whereas they weren't biting in the fall. <laughs> <laughs> but what we really brought you guys here today yes. to talk about, because uh, we're trying to record just a little bit in advance, because obviously next week I am out. Uh, and uh, But next week something's happening, and I'm not quite sure if it's a holiday, but something's happening. Next week, what's something? It's like it's like it's almost like an anniversary, anniversary of sorts. It's almost like something that happens every year. May twentieth. Is it May twentieth? Is it May Day? No, no, no parade. No. no what, parade. What, what, what's what's happening next week? May twentieth. Don's used photo equipment will have been opened for twenty four years. Can you believe that? Can you believe that? Twenty four years. Twenty four years. Twenty four years. May twenty. Twenty four. That's one year shy of a quarter century. Yes, of a big, uh, big celebratory anniversary. Twenty four is like, yeah, but it's not twenty five. <laughs> it's it's darn close. Twenty four is fantastic. It's as close as you can get without being it. It's uh, twenty four years. Twenty four years. Now I'll tell you a little bit about this. So we opened May twentieth, nineteen ninety seven. Right. And it was right after a camera show in Dallas. So it was the Dallas camera show. Okay, okay. We passed our Fort Worth. I don't know. It was a camera show. <laughs> and we passed out flyers throughout the entire two-day show. And it said, Monday, we're opening our store. And this is at our old location, 1106 Graham Avenue. The same location where they actually built Novatrons in right. the 70s. Right, you guys, I, I often see one of those boxes floating around here yeah, somewhere. Another one got added to the, the this past week. And so we were there for just over a year, and they sold the building, we had to move. And I found this place, was very fortunate. And back then, which would have been 20, uh, no, 1999? Yeah. You've um, been at this location all, all since that I've been coming the, here. Yes, yes. And uh, I've been coming here at least since 2008-ish, yeah. something like that. So, mm -hmm. so yeah, we were here. We moved here about 99-ish, and we've been so here just a couple since. years later. Yeah. yeah, and we've been here ever since. 24 years total. Now, years ago, I'm sitting there going, "Hey, let's do a sell for the week." And man, I got, I got, I got. Um, this was back tw uh, 24 was, years ago. Uh, no, no, this is this is like, like 15, 16, 18 years ago. Okay. Now, when after we'd moved here. So when you moved here, you did a sale then. I, I thought I was in there. There's not go, a sale now. There's not a sale now. No, because nobody came. <laughs> nobody would come to my sale. <laughs> and we, we would have for the whole week of whatever day the 20th fell on, we would have the whole week as a sale. And then the sale went off and everybody started coming in. I go, I had to, I had a cell. Why didn't you come in? They Why go, didn't you come in? Well, we figured it'd be crowded. <laughs> <laughs> and everybody had this universal thought of it would be crowded. So nobody showed up. Oh, it's so be crowded. So we stopped doing anniversary sales. Okay. Also because for that reason, but the other reason was is because school's out and yeah. everybody takes off on vacations. Right. So when we first opened the store, I really didn't have any thoughts about when to, to do it. It just had to happen. 
And this is the time when people are out of school and they're off on their vacations yes. like you are. Everybody loves graduates. You should show us your graduates later. Yes. I think that's a great idea. That's Makes a great sense. Idea. Anyways, Makes we'll sense. get to that. Yeah. Um, see, he's, that's why he's the producer. 24 yeah. years. Yes. Um, almost all of it at this location. I mean, that's when the first layer started, right? The first, you know, we always say you have to kind of dig down sometimes, and that's when the first layer so, actually yeah, happened. That that's a lot of the stuff. The further back in the store that you go, that we have blocked off now, that's probably stuff that's been there since we moved here. Yeah, it's an archaeological <laughs> dig. <laughs> and one day we may try to videotape it. <laughs> we'll be going through the boxes. Honestly, no telling what we'll find back there, but there's going to be stuff back there because all this pile that's here, the moved it way to the back, right, on right. top of the other stuff. And then we got a new pile here. There's no more room back there to put this. So, uh, so yeah. selling film, it's, selling darkroom, selling yeah. cameras. Yes, yes, C stands, uh, clamps, uh, cameras, just everything, tripods. And during that time, we were actually the first for a lot of different things, which is always fun. But first for film washi. First for film washi in the US. Yeah. First to hold a film washi workshop in the world. Ooh. Yeah. I was the first one to bring JTL to Dallas or Texas. Okay. That's an old product we don't have anymore, but <laughs> <laughs> I was the first one to have it. And uh, first one to have Minox digital cameras in the entire U.S. Ooh. The entire U.S. Cool. Yes. I saw them at a trade show and uh, the guys that are we're trying to find a, a distributor for them. Yeah. And I'm sitting there going, yes, but you're sitting here right now and I have a check in my hand and you can take my money. You can take my you money. You can take my Just money. Just take help my money. Pay, help pay for this trip that you've come here to mm. do. And Some, some people just can't take money. They can't. But he, I finally talked him into it. It took me about 30 minutes. And I said, look, you can even take the check, deposit a check, wait till the check cashes and clears and has no problems with it. Then you can send me the stuff, which yeah. you did. So like a month or a month and a half later, <laughs> I got <laughs> Minox digital cameras, which were awesome. Yeah. And of course, I was the first one in the U.S. to carry them. And we sold a lot. How of many them megapixels too. was that? Probably like eight, ten. <laughs> you know, this for is, a tiny little camera, that's pretty good. It was, especially way back then. Yeah. And I mean, I even sold one to a friend of my father's who was a nuclear physicist. Okay. And so this is okay. So one of your forefathers? Say, one of my father's friends okay what did i say you said one of my father's one of my father I, i'm just father's friend i'm yeah. just wondering how many fathers you have i I, yeah. I know pops well dad granddad great granddad you know so yeah like that but he's a friend of my father's okay sure and he is, he's a nuclear scientist i mean so he, he's a whiz banger oh so I mean, he, he, needed, he needed a minox spy camera I well yeah, yeah absolutely with at least 10 megapixels well, he loves detail so he played with it and he told my dad later he says man this is a neat camera it's got a lot of stuff on it i love it so when he speaks about it being cool you know it's cool. Oh, it's yeah. it's nuclear physics certified. <laughs> Seal of approval. <laughs> yes. So yes, we were the first for that. First to have Carl Zeiss lenses in Texas. Cool. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. They didn't list me as their dealer though, but oh. I was the first one to have it in Texas. <laughs> so it was a lot of first stuff that was here and fun. It was really kind of fun. In twenty four years. I mean, that's that's pretty cool. I mean, yes. uh, I you know I've seen the wall of film change over oh, time. Oh my gosh! Yes. Uh, you show, well, you you pointed out, all right, there's one of the photos that's up here and it shows it from 2016 and there's only like two or three shelves, like these two sections here. I've, only... I've seen films come. I've seen, you know, this used to be full of uh, Fujifilm Pro 400H until, yes. until January. Well, that used to be all um, I, I mean, as it, well. it, it comes, it goes, it comes, it goes, yeah. which is nice. The fact that it's still here, which yes. is the most important but, thing to me. Because I know you're you're just That's raking right. in the dough selling film. Just you know, every day he's no, <laughs> no. There's no there's no real profit in film. But yet it's just enough to keep and it's just yeah. enough to keep you reeled in. Yeah, I, I <laughs> got I went to but to the lady who does my taxes this year this morning. Yeah, and so because of COVID and everything, there was just a slight loss last year. And so <gasps> she looks at me and goes. So do you plan to have a profit next year? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, 
Listen, nobody, <laughs> nobody in film. I'm to surprised have a I had one previous years, <laughs> but it was. That's exactly how she said. I'm sitting there going, "Wow." <laughs> twenty four years. Twenty four yep. years. Uh, yep. What was yep. the What's the biggest change in twenty four years? Digital. Well, I mean, to the store. What's Even, the biggest well, change the into store? the store? I mean, man. Uh, I mean, I can tell you from my experience with the store, the fact that you're busting at the <laughs> seams with darkroom chemicals with, right with now. With stuff. I mean, with the, the, w there's so much stuff here. Yeah. I mean, 24 years ago, we just had uh, things along the, some of the things along the wall. And then we had bookshelves over here. No more books. We don't sell books anymore. But yeah. I had like two bookshelves and I got the, the bookshelves from Eni like like manuals or Eni Moses. Photo photograph books and yeah photograph books at any moses is where we got the oh, you the, can't beat amazon for those things now. no not amazon yeah now but i mean these were from any moses five and dime store yeah and we got the two shelf we had two or three shelves i think but um yeah three shelves and had them full of books it was it was great so that's no longer a thing people don't read anymore don't read or look at pictures. Or look at well, or they look, look at pictures. pictures. <laughs> they don't read the words with. <laughs> <laughs> they just don't just, read the words. Anyway, it has changed. It's changed a lot, and film was big back then, but we didn't carry much of it because because uh, digital was on the rise. Uh, no, competitive camera down the street. Oh, had. that's right. They had they had uh, film too. Didn't oh they? my gosh, they had truckloads of film. Truckloads. I mean, he would mm. sell. You know, there there would be sixty. Polar, uh, uh, 60 Fuji FP 100 C's in a, in a case. And he would sell two, three, four cases to, to studios at a time. Wow. Because they were just going yeah, and through. And it's hard, hard to beat that kind of, uh, movie volume, film. Yeah, volume. Volume. And I mean, just, and Kodak, he was probably one of the top Kodak in, in Ilford and Fuji suppliers around uh, the area. And people would come in. People, I've had customers here that say, yeah, we used to pick up like, 600 rolls of slide film. Wow. And to shoot projects with. Mm -hmm. I mean, so it, it was just going out by the truckloads. By the truckloads. Yeah. Now it's going out by the bag loads. Yeah, little <laughs> truck bag loads, loads, bag loads. But it's a lot better than it was even five years ago. Yeah. Because, yeah. So what we're going to do for you guys, uh, we're actually, one of the things that we haven't done in any of our videos, we're going to go give you guys a little treat here right now, <laughs> is uh, we're going to actually give you, we're going to show you a couple of spots around the store. So, yes. because all you ever really see is what's behind us, which is the wall of film. It's a great wall of film. But what we'd like you to do is see some other sections of the uh, the store and uh, yeah. what we have, what you have over there. Actually, we, it's, it's his store. Yeah. So, I don't know. No. But uh, so people keep asking him for help, though. <laughs> no. Yeah, they, they'll come in and ask me questions, and I'm like, uh, no, no, no hablo inglés. No, I don't know, man. Talk to that guy. And then they talk to me in Spanish, and I'm like, oh, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> no comprende. No, but I can say Deutsch. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can nix <laughs> so, so we're gonna we're gonna show you what we look at. Yes, we sit here and we look at all this other stuff. Well, we're gonna get we're gonna go over there and we're gonna show you a few of the things. This mm -hmm. is the dark room side, sort of the beginning of it. One of my favorite sections. There's right, there's a lot of dark room stuff, but I like this section. Yes, this is fun. This is fun. These are the little tools. I've had these things around for a while now. I finally found a purpose for using them. The, the oh, the racks. The racks. I was, I was yeah. about to say, the, 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 a lot of the stuff you have on the racks is kind of new. You're always. Yes, a lot of the know. stuff I just started ca uh, carrying more recently because there's so much demand for it. The uh, little mixers, your favorite. The tea stirrers. The yeah. tea stirrers, your the favorite. The squeegees. My favorite, the squeegees. That you, you, listen, you guys, you can't, you can't develop film without a squeegee. You've got to develop film. With the tongs. Tons. And, and and not the criminal organization. <laughs> but the times. Those are really cool. Then over here, the archiving section. Yeah, all of these were up here on the shelf at one time. Now I sit there and figured it out and I can just stick them all down here. Four by five. Four by five. Four and by five. Open up a shelf. So here we have the just the archive section, slide film. Also it's for slides. 35 millimeter, 120, four by five. Five by seven. I'm sorry, you said 35 millimeter and then what? 120. We're, which I'm we're supposed of. to envision that. Yes, just use your imagination. Imagination. 120 film. It's This has been very popular. I've been selling a lot of A this. lot of 120 film. It's been yeah. going out the door. It has been. And, and you've got to archive it somehow, guys. So then we got the four by fives. 
the five by sevens, the eight by ten, which we're out of. <laughs> And and there's another hole down there. The yes. slides. And the slides. Oh, slides. oh what's on the back? Who knows, man? What Maybe. The, oh, the, oh, the more, more four, four, by, four by Yeah, fives. at one point they were just sending me, I, I'd order 120 and they'd send me four by five. Here, have these four by fives instead. Thank you. And since it's a pain in the butt No, that's, back, that's not I what I need. there and goes, no. Now, we other right, right here behind, which is sort of out of reach a, right a, a little bit behind. Trays, lots of trays, four by five, eight, uh, you know, eight, five, eight by 10, 11 by 14, uh, 16 by 20, and 20 by 24 lots trays. Of trays. Up here, which we're running out of, and I've had an order for two weeks. I have no idea where it's gone. No, it's been three weeks now. It's gone. It's gone. It's gone. The graduates. Of course, this being this time of the year, Every who doesn't like a good graduate? Exactly. That's why they're not here. They've all gone on to the bigger, <laughs> the bigger photo lab in the sky. <laughs> no, yeah. Oh, then you then. Can, you can be anything you want, Todd. Uh, and, and, and if only they had told us that like thirty years ago. Yeah, they did. <laughs> but they said, I think. But just don't do it here. <laughs> <laughs> Leave. Get out. <laughs> then we have. So we have the. Utensils in the dark room, the right. items in the dark room, and we shift over just a little bit behind him here, and more utensils. The my favorite part, the jugs nice part. And I've asked this question before. Yes. What makes a jar a jug? When does a jar become a jug? Who's got a moonshine handle? <laughs> and you can go. If foo, you foo, can foo, get foo, busted foo. for moonshine, it's a jug. It's a jug. <laughs> that makes sense to me. I, there's a logic to that. <laughs> so we have the the things in which you keep your chemistry in. Yes, thirty two ounce jugs, half gallon, one gallon. Then back here behind, hidden, hidden, but yet available, 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 and still a lot of people and use them. horrible for the environment. No, yes. just kidding. It's plastic. It's plastic. Plastic jug. jugs. Plastic one gallons. Hidden, but starting up here at the top, this yeah. is where the fun begins because we have the chemistry. Ooh. Now, on the other side is the wall of film. On this side here is the row of chemistry. So normally while we're over there actually doing the videos, we're this actually we're staring at. at the wall of chemistry. Yes, because nothing goes together like chemistry and film. It's it's chemistry. and the, it's, it's got good chemistry. It's got good chem and it all happens in the dark. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, we've gone too far. We've gone too far. <laughs> beep, beep, beep. We've said too much. <laughs> so many jokes. The Kodak. 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 Kodak makes chemistry. Tanks to put them in. Yeah. The, the day Kodak. tanks. Then we move over just slightly here. Ilford. Ilford. Lots of great Ilford yeah. chemistry here. And it's all in the sections too. So right here is the paper. Right here is the film. Then the things that are which are for all, both that intertwine. Yeah. Uh, the the uh, the wash shade, the, the, the fixer. The fix, well, the fixer and stop bath are for both as well. Yes, they are. So everything that's unichemistry is right over there. And then below oh, that? Fun. The paper for the dark room. Now, a lot of things have changed. Uh, film is really gaining in popularity, but the, the actual making of prints in the dark room is slowed down a little bit, but it's actually starting to level off and I think come back a little bit more. But this is still, I mean, once you have a great negative, yeah, you know, you, you know, have if, to make a great enlargement. You had to great make a great image. You've gone, you've gone only halfway. If if you stopped at a negative and you've scanned it, you've only gone halfway. You That's have right. to, you have to take this analog process to completion to the finish, and you really need to enlarge it. And the, this is the paper that, that you use, that you only open in the dark. You don't open it because... You mean we're not going to open it right here? I wanted to see what it looked like. Yeah, I know. A lot of people do, evidently, and then they kind of ruin it. Yeah. I love those things on fate. When it... <laughs> and he's gone. <laughs> no, no, keep going, keep going. I'm just no, getting... I'm, I'm just, just, I'm just getting me a little box of paper. <laughs> We have people who buy this now. Yes. Now, this is what the What's it, 16 said. by 20? 16 by... No, 20, 20, by 20 by 24. Goodness gracious. 20 by 20 24. By... Now, here's the deal. Whenever you are making prints, inkjet prints, we don't know how long they will last. Right. But something made on a fiber base... Fiber base with, last, with actual silver. With actual silver will last about a hundred years, is what they said. Uh, that's almost as long as me. Yeah. 
you're halfway there. <laughs> <laughs> then, so this is a very important part of it. You've got to get it down. Now, the other thing about that too, yeah. is that images that are put on the darkroom paper right. are actually more valuable than those that are put on inkjet paper. Oh, definitely, definitely so, yeah. yeah. So when Kate Moss's first photo session was done, the photographer shot film. Everything that he shot with Kate Moss was on film. He then made darkroom prints from them. And then a few years ago, he decided that he was going to sell his images to, yeah. you know, to make some money of, because she's famous who, now. Who wouldn't? Who wouldn't? Yeah, right. And he had darkroom paper and inkjet images. The inkjet images went for like one tenth of the value of the dark room. They, they, are on the cheap, they went for the cheap side. Yeah. Yes. So if you have an image on this type of dark room paper, it increases the value of your photo up to 10 times. Oh, yeah. So whenever you're in a museum and you see photograph on a silver gelatin paper, essentially, they're, it's they're, talking, a about lot more they're talking about this. They're talking yes. about real silver. The real, real silver. And that's where a lot of the... Like, I think uh, Laura Wilson's, uh, one of her last exhibits here, there was yeah. a a uh, lab over in East Dallas that did her large prints on silver paper. And those things are expensive to do. Whenever okay. you have something like that on like a three and a half or four foot piece of darkroom paper, they're very expensive. So whenever she sells them then, they're going to be very expensive. So this is probably one of my new favorite sections of the store. I mean, you know, the fact that you built this little oasis in the middle of the store here, and I've yes. been through, I've been through at least two of three of these, right? What what do we got yes. here? We have the Cinestill section now. It gets its the own. The Cinestill Island. The, the island of Cinestill. <laughs> <laughs> and on this island, we yeah. have uh, the actress. We have. Marianne? No. Ginger, red. She's Ginger. the redhead. Marianne? <laughs> Where's the professor? <laughs> but anyway, we digress. We have... We've gone too far. <laughs> oh, no. Keep okay. going. Okay. Anyways, what do you got? Chemistry too far. What do you have? Cinestill for C41 processing powder form, right. liquid form. I, and I've tried the powder form already. Great yes. stuff for developing color. Color, CS41. And you say it's actually, for you, just easier than black and white because it's just like one temperature for it everything. It was easy. Uh, the, everything. But, the, but the thing that I learned recently uh, is that your chemicals have an expiration to them. So use them up within, like, you, let's say, uh, a month expired. or so yeah. and then toss them. Yes, yes. Because how long was it between? Oh, I think it was like six months. Six yes. months is no bueno. No good. No good. So... Now, whenever you did this, you used what? How many did you use the jugs and the jars? Yep. How yep. many did you use for the powder form? I used a 32 ounce and a uh, full jug, which is a half, like gallon. A half gallon jug. Okay, so for this, 32 ounce and a half gallon. Yes. Now, another customer came in and said he used this and he used three 32 ounces for this, for the liquid form. Okay, cool. So there is a difference in the number of jugs and jars that you need for this. And it helps that he knows these things when you come in here. He can help you with your jug and jar decisions. <laughs> I'll go for the jugular right there. Yes. <laughs> yes, but it's still fun. And we have... Slide. Slide. Slide film. Now, we I've also one. done this one as well. Yes. You know what? We even have a video about that one. If you want to go look at the link above Todd's head there. So, yeah, it's we call, I call it E6, but they call it... They call it uh, B6. The B6. Well, excuse me, that's that's the part B6. Actually, it's the CS6, I think. Or CS, well, it's, it's that. It's, but this is the slide film stuff. You the last one. number is a six, and that's all that matters, <laughs> right? <laughs> that's exactly right. Now, there's a one, one part, a second part, and a third part. Right. And the second and third part, you only use the choices they have there. Right. The second and third parts are exactly the same no matter what. But the first part, you have three things to choose from. I have all three of them right here to pick from. Ta-da! All three. Then back here in the back is movie still. And over here is like... Movies? movies. Oh, this is monobath. My, oh, that's mono bath, then this must be the movie stuff. So then you have four different uh, Cinestill film developing 
I've got, combinations here. I've got so much stuff over here. I don't know what. And this all is what is. I want to try next. I want to try the mono bath next. And this is yeah the mono bath. Now I have that just in the powder form, but it does come in liquid also. I just don't know why yeah, I don't have the liquid. I, I've so got to try this. Yes. Now as it sets up here in powder form, it's good for th they have expiration in a non-available. <laughs> <laughs> because it's in powder form. Unless because they it, don't know if it's going to last 100 years. Yeah, who knows? But whenever you use it, after you mix it up, then you have a shelf life. Then you have a, but you know, I, and I knew better. I knew better, guys. I should, I should have tossed the chemicals and, and just, yeah, because yeah. I had actually already gotten like 14 rolls out of it, which is actually pretty good. Pretty good, yes. I should have just cut it right there and, <laughs> and got some new. And then now this is the cinema film. Back. Cinema. Cinema. Cinema still film cinema. 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 Cinna? Cinnamon? <laughs> Cinnamon? Cinema. Movie. It's pronounced it's movie. movie. Movie film developer. <laughs> now, this this is like for the stuff. This is actually for also like the Cinestill 800 yeah. and the 50D. But those have the rim jet removed already. Right, right. But I think this will also still do the one with the rim jet. Oh, interesting. And then you can still remove that if you like. But this, the movie, C41... E6 and black and white. You got you got everything colored. Yeah, it's here. a little bit everything. of everything. This is a fan, you know. So whether it's the Ilford chemicals for black and white, whether it's the Cinestill for black and white and color. Yes. I mean, if you're gonna shoot film, might as well develop it too. And this this is what when we usually film over at other location, this is what we look at while we're talking to y'all. We see it all the time. We do, we do, and it's still marvelous. It's still wonderful. <laughs> it's fine. It's fantastic. Yes. So come down for all of your darkroom needs. You, we have the utensils, the chemistry. We have the trays. We have the the, the paper. We have, we've got a lot of stuff up here. We have the little stainless steel tanks, the plastic tanks, the reels, the steel reels, the plastic reels. I feel like Forrest Gump now talking about shrimp. <laughs> So I understand for the last video, yep, uh, something pretty cool happened, which is always cool because you know it's, it's the fact that it's our videos and yes. and the fact that you guys are watching them. Hey guys, we thank you very much for watching our videos. Like, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Tell a friend. Tell, tell two everybody. friends. Tell, so subscribe, tell like, uh, comment. We love comments. Todd mm -hmm. reads all the comments. Yes, actually, I'm starting to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I found the found a way to read them. So now you I got a way to read the comments. Uh -huh. But uh, we like it when. Uh, so if I remember, we had a video a couple of uh, months ago where we showed off camera straps, and then somebody came in and bought specifically those camera yes, straps, yes. right? But now we've had another reaction to that. So anytime somebody sees a video and says, "Hey, yep. I like that," so yes. what did you got? Well, last time we did a video, we had to step over a pile of cameras. trip over. We trip, had to trip over. I, you tripped. I stepped. I stepped, I tripped earlier. In the day, Guys, if you could see the mountains of stuff back here. <laughs> yes, it's, it is indeed. The, yeah. You could see the mountains, mountains of stuff. Of stuff. It's, just it's a baby around. graphic with and a missing look back. At look at this Two handle. and a quarter by three and a quarter. Look at this handle. I love the handle. Yeah. Ooh, yes. But it's see stuff, the back. See, it's the front, well, the back, yeah. Yeah, it's yeah, missing yeah. The back. But yeah, and, and we stepped over a Veronica SQB. Yes. Very clean, very nice. Very, very cool. Very sweet looking. So, so nice, nice. I didn't even get to play with it. No, no. Because we have limits. <laughs> <laughs> I don't but, get to touch everything. No, not everything. But we, so we talked about it. We didn't even show it. No, did not show it. Just talked about Rumors. it. Rumors. It was pure rumor. The video came out on Friday. Yeah. Saturday, a customer called and said, hey, uh, Veronica SQB, do you still have it? Said yes. Yeah. I and mean, the video only came out on Friday. It only came out on Friday and uh, gave him a price. Didn't come in. Monday comes in, says, Do you still have the Bronic SQB? Oh, so he yes. called on Saturday. He didn't called, even come and get it on did, Saturday. No, it wasn't even for to, Monday. That's, that's a gutsy move. It is. That's it is. A gutsy he, move. he thought he was going to be able to make it on Saturday. Oh, I see. Yeah. Didn't work out. So instead of just calling, he said, Just came in. Said, I'm just going to go on blind faith that it's still there. Yes. And it was. And because I'd left it in the floor, <laughs> it hadn't made it off the floor. You know, on, on on blind faith, I was trying to visit a different camera shop today, and I found that they were closed. So, yes. So you yes. you not don't always win. I, no. I lost today, but yep. he clearly won because you still had it. I still had it. Brought the camera out, looked it over, just 
showed how the, the lens came up. So you said it was up. an outfit. So we're talking about camera body. Body, the, the 120 back. Body, which, 120 back. Which is separate. Yeah. And the lens. And what lens? Uh, the 80. Okay. 80 and millimeter. It was the, the, was it? Uh, uh, 28. 28? That's, yeah, that's good. Uh, that's 82, fantastic. Yeah, it is. It's the 8208. And it was the PS lens, which is the last version they made before they stopped. Making oh, okay, it. okay. So it was, it was, it was a nice. I'm not outfit. up on my Bronica uh, terminology. Yeah. That sounds pretty good. And it was you put up the date of 1996. Well, yeah, I put up the intro date of when it yeah. was. Yeah, so and I mean, it wasn't too far. It was like early 2000s, I guess. They stopped making. All. Anyway, when digital hit, the, the everything was like that gone. But they're making a huge comeback right now. Huge, huge, and. Uh, Customer came in, looked it over, and says, I'll take it. Yeah. And I'll take a pro pack of film with it. Now, uh, it, yeah, from Robert Crook, you said it was a teenager. Yes, a teenager. A teenager. So that, teenager, that adds teenager. to the story that because is. how many teenagers are shooting film? Uh, surprisingly, a lot. A lot. And uh, it's growing. Not as it's many growing. as digital, of course, but still, uh, the, there's there seems to be a, I don't know, a high school push to say, hey, you kids should learn film, which is nice, which yes. they should. It is. Because I, I learned, uh, I did photography in high school, and you did as well. At college. You did it at college? Yeah. I, I actually developed film in high school, which we always thought was pretty cool. I mean, we, it was a horrible one or two rolls of film, but still, I did it, you know, which was kind of cool. <laughs> it's horrible, but it's my horrible. Yeah, it's, it's my I horrible. It. I mean, yes. I could probably go find those I, original I first negatives that I shot I and developed. Relate. Yes. That's fun. But the, what I loved about it was is that after... The kid bought it. Yeah. He said, I saw, I looked at these on the internet. Yeah. yeah. I, I looked at these at other places. And he said, but I wanted to come here and buy it because you support and like the analog, the film community. You he does. And, and it's, it's, it's like, yes, yes, I do. My store is devoted it's to It's like it. what this store is meant for. You know, you, you shoot the film, you develop the film, you enlarge the film. Yes. Oh, excuse me. You shoot the film, you develop the exposures, exposures and you en print enlarge the negatives. The negatives. <laughs> Let's get the terminology <laughs> that's correct. The terminology. Yes, because I had somebody call up here and says, yes, I'm coming up to pick up film. And I said, okay, and, what uh, film do you need? It's like, no. That's it, right. You're right. He did use the wrong term now that I think uh, about it. It's, it's, it's like, no, you're not picking up film. You're picking up negatives. That is, because Todd says, somebody's coming to get film. So we're going to stay open for a few extra minutes. He came in and goes, yeah, uh, yeah, uh, Lone Star Darkroom did my uh, my film. I was like, oh, you don't want film, film. You want, you want negatives. negatives. So, yes, there is the terminology. But the customer then said, that's why I came and bought it from you. It's because Which is super cool. We support the film community. Him more than me, but still. Yeah. And the, the film community in turn supports me. Yes, that is so very nice. So we greatly appreciate that. And that's our, that is our store. That's the tour, the, the, the whirlwind tour of hope you enjoy of store. hope you enjoy the different sections of the store now yeah. that was just a small taste of the entire store because what? there are it's much much more <laughs> there is but yeah. the, the thing of it is is that's that's not only just a small part it's the only organized part of the store too <laughs> there's a lot of disorganization here if you dare <laughs> and i of course have people who won't come here because it's so disorganized <laughs> some like... people can't can't take clutter yeah, I know. I know. There, I'm sure there's a phobia. Like your mother. Yes. Yes. <laughs> like my mother. I'm sure there is a, a clutter phobia out there. Some mm. you know, word term that, that can be used. But if you have that, this is probably not your best place to come to. <laughs> the, the, I, we would, I would say this is hoarder heaven, except for he's not technically attached to anything here. He will sell it. It will yeah. go away. Except my dad. I don't sell him. I've had well, offers, but we rent him out, but I don't sell him. Okay, that, yeah, that so sounds about right. That's about the main thing. But yes, we do. It's fun. And uh, so hopefully we'll have uh, make it to 25 and maybe we'll do a celebratory. We'll have to do something special for 25. For 25. We'll do a special video for 25. Maybe we'll have a, a, a sidewalk sale. <laughs> Another sidewalk sale. Yes. I love the sidewalk sale. Oh, that was great. And people were asking. That's one of the best ideas we've done for the store is the sidewalk is, sale. Is when, do you gonna, when are you going to do another one? Yeah. Oh, and other things that are starting to pop up. What? Yeah, I got an email today. Uh, Dallas Center for Photography is starting June 12th in-person classes. In-person yes. classes. In-person classes. Oh. So we have only cotton doing in-person classes for shooting and developing. 
now Dallas Center for Photography is doing in-store classes yeah, with yeah. digital and other things. And they're still doing their online, but now they're opening up for in-store. That's exciting, guys. It, it sounds is. like life is starting to get a little bit back to normal. Yes. Do it with caution, but it would be nice to get back to normal. And when you get out in public, remember your manners. <laughs> Some of us have been locked up by ourselves for a little too long. There's a thing called a shower. Uh, you know? <laughs> Try Listen, it. Listen, I cool. only put deodorant on on the days I come in here to do the yeah, video, well, okay? Because otherwise, I mean, like, who, who am I really boss. trying to, to the, please at home? The I'm dogs like, aren't offended. I know what I smell like, right? <laughs> the dogs aren't. They don't mind. <laughs> and on that note, guys, yes. I think we're going to wrap we're this gonna one wrap up. We're going to wrap it up. So please do. He's got to get off to his vacation. I got to go on vacation. Yeah. So please do share, like, subscribe. Yeah. Uh, tell, tell some friends, tell, tell your people. mom. Don't yeah. tell my mom that I, I have sure. this lens. Don't, yeah, yeah. don't, don't tell no. her I have that lens no, right now. No, no. He's going he's gonna to rewrap it and give it to her for next year's for Christmas. <laughs> well, there's ours. Well, her birthday's coming up. Oh, birthday. Her birthday's coming so, up. So, Ma, Ma already has a birthday present. Uh, <laughs> I've got something special for you. That's Ma. awesome. That's awesome. Well, thank you very much. So something special for you. So, that's it for us, guys. Yes. We'll see y'all later. Take care. Yeah. Oh man, you have fun on your vacation. Vacation, oh. So you're gonna go fishing? I'm gonna take, I'm gonna go fishing. Is it his day, his day? Uh, I'm gonna take photographs. Of the fish? I'm gonna hang out with Mrs. Holga. How do you, how do you take pictures of fish you don't catch? Well, see, there's the problem. Well, there's gonna be other people fishing. I'll photograph theirs. And they just clean yours? Yeah. I like it.